Tonight we're tracking Tropical Storm Hillary as it makes its way through our state. And just look at this heavy rain flooding highways like this one, State Route 190 outside of Death Valley National Park and causing rock slides like this one just north of the Mexico border here on Interstate 8. But Southern California is not facing this alone. Scenes like this in San Diego are soon going to be met with crews from around the state. The Sacramento Fire Department is deploying a swift water rescue team straight to the storm zone. And ABC 10's Garsh Paul Sanga is live at a Sacramento firehouse. And Garsh Paul crews from our fire department heading right into the storm tonight. Yeah, and that is correct, Luke. And members of the Sacramento Fire Department only had just a few hours to prepare. They came here and they were on the road by 5 p.m. This is, this is the latest team to be deployed by Cal OES as they prepare for an all hands on deck scenario. All eyes are on Tropical Storm Hillary as it makes its impact across portions of California. More help is arriving for the southern half of the state from the Sacramento region. Sacramento Fire is sending 16 members of its Swift Water Rescue Team. This team is able to put boats in the water, members on the boats. They can go out on search and rescue missions. They can go out and just assist people getting to higher ground with all this flood water that's expected. Sacramento Fire says the current assignment is for the team to drive to Bishop. There, they will be ready to help with whatever this storm brings. They're, they have far more advanced training than just a basic firefighter. And their skill set ranges from boat operator, rescue swimmer, hazmat technicians, paramedics, all the above. And they just come together as a team to put boots on the ground and go save people. We are constantly in taking requests from local counties for more help. California Office of Emergency Services deployed the Sacramento team. Their state operations center in Mather was activated ahead of the storm. There, various agencies work together to track the storm and send help quickly. For us right now, it's flooding and wind and then any power issues associated with those impacts. And so we do want people to still remain vigilant. You know, this storm is not over. Cal OES has first responders spread out across 11 Southern California counties. Back home, as this team left to go south, SAC Fire says they've already backfilled those positions so the calls at home won't be affected. But firefighters are prepared for whatever is thrown at them. Whenever a call comes from OES, we try to fulfill that order as soon as possible. Garsh Paul Sanga reporting live in Sacramento. Garsh Paul, the images coming out of Southern California are just catastrophic. Uh, is Cal OES considering sending more resources and where would they draw them from? Yeah, Luke, right now Cal OES says they don't know, but what they're doing is they're monitoring this situation very closely. And if more help is needed, they're going to be asking public agencies, fire departments, especially from our area, but they're monitoring this situation very closely, Luke. And so are we, Garsh Paul. Thank you. Let's bring in Chief Meteorologist Monica Woods. Monica, we've been tracking this thing for a week. Some mm -hmm. people wondering when it would ever make landfall. Safe to say, Hillary's here. It certainly did, and it's not going anywhere fast. In fact, we still have the splash flood warning in effect for much of Southern California. That was initially expected to expire about 7, 7.30 this evening now extended until 1130 because of the amount of rain that continues to come our way. Here's a look at where the path is right now, and you can see it's kind of zigzag motion throughout the course of the day. 40 mile per hour winds currently. Hillary still a tropical storm moving to the north to northwest at 28 miles per hour. The big brunt of the storm obviously moving through Southern California. Lots of rain in Palm Springs as well as along the coast through portions of Los Angeles and even into the Inland Empire where we've been seeing periods of flooding move up to the north and we're just now starting to see some of the initial bands of rain moving our way. Lots of cloud cover sticky feel out there for tonight. But again, the path of this storm definitely primarily affecting Southern California with the path now taking it into Nevada over tonight into early tomorrow morning where it becomes an extra tropical low still impacting us though with rain, wind and thunderstorms. A total of three plus inches of rain for Palm Springs and Burbank over two inches for Edwards Air Force Base as well as two and a half inches for Carlsbad with peak wind gusts at about 45 miles per hour. As far as that tropical storm warning, it's still in effect for tonight. Flash flood warnings as well as flood warnings in effect and a flood watch throughout much of Nevada. Behind all that, it's our high wind warning. So again, for us tonight, increasing cloud cover. Here's how we start off our Monday. Luke, more on that 
and the timeline of all the rain coming our way coming up. Thank you, Monica. Fascinating to see its meandering path to the north. One of the places feeling the worst of this storm, the desert southwest. Places like Palm Springs getting the kind of rain they're just not built to handle. Our Andy Judson is there tonight and shows us what it looks like. We're coming to you from Palm Springs, where there's been a number of road closures because a flash flood warning and is in place. And let me show you exactly why that's happening. You can see this road right here behind me, Vista Chino in Palm Springs. It has just expanded substantially since we've been out here. And we're really feeling the impacts of the of Hillary hurricane turned tropical storm, but you can just see how quickly this water is coming in from the desert plains. And we've been speaking with residents who's lived out here their entire lives, and they say one of the main reasons is because that it's sandy out here in the desert. And so basically that doesn't soak in the rain like this as quickly as other areas in California. So it's been really interesting with seeing how much rain is coming in. And of course, we'll continue to keep you updated from out there here in Palm Springs. But for now, I'll send it back to you in the studio. Andy Judson in Palm Springs tonight. This storm making recreation dangerous. All state beaches in Orange and San Diego counties will be closed today and tomorrow. Other state parks in the path of the storm are also closed. If you're heading that way, be sure to check online for closures. Some county libraries are closed as well, and all of this in an effort to keep people inside and safe. Also tonight, a signature Southern California quake just east of Santa Barbara. The shake weighing in at 5.1 on the Richter scale. You can see the shake radius from this map. It hit just before 1.30 this afternoon, and there have been at least a dozen aftershocks since. The National Weather Service says that there's no threat of a tsunami for Los Angeles uh, at this time, and there are no major reports of injury or damage.